Alright guys, welcome uh, to the channel. My name is Mike with Mike Debbie Productions, as you probably know. And I know I usually don't put things out on Mondays, but yesterday it was an award show. Um, you know, just a bunch of celebrities kissing their own butts. Uh, so, you know, nothing out of the norm in Hollywood for you. So I kind of skipped that one, didn't really watch it, watched other stuff like YouTube channels and stuff. Um, but I did notice on my phone when I, you know, got bored and took a look at it, this thing came up with, uh, you know, Will Smith hits uh, Chris Rock. Okay. So I have to go and start digging deep. And of course, being YouTube, being YouTube, um, there was already a few videos on the subject popping up because it was just like the now thing. It's been a little bit longer and we have some more information on it, but it's pretty much just is what it is. So Chris Rock was up there announcing, I think like the best documentary movie, which is like the most boring one that you can announce. So to spice it up, he went out and made a few jokes, uh, poking fun at a few things. But the thing that got him the most attention was when he saw Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith's wife. Uh, she has alopecia, which is basically just she's balding, which is not a big deal because, well, she doesn't look bad bald. Um, look at uh, Black Panther. A lot of the women in that series were bald and they looked great. Like, honestly. Um, not a big deal. So, Chris Rock is up there. He's cracking jokes. And he sees her and he cracks a G.I. Jane joke. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? Uh, Will starts laughing a little bit, kind of goes over his head, because at these things, uh, anytime anyone just stops, you kind of laugh at the joke, because that's the thing. Oh, he stopped talking. Ha, 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 ha. That's basically what they do. Um, he didn't get the joke until after uh, a little bit. I think maybe uh, Jada talked to him and said, yeah, he was making a, a joke against me being bald. Um, she kind of had a moment where she was just like, oh, geez, really, this kind of a joke, you're, you're going to make fun of that. And so she made a face and kind of seemingly brushed it off. But Will, after the light bulb hit, um, went up and smacked, well, fist punched, uh, Chris, uh, Chris Rock. Seems to laugh it off, but then gets up on stage. Oh, wow! Wow! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. So, it was pretty interesting. He didn't go up and make any jokes. He just went up, boom, hit him, and went back and sat down. And then uh, a few seconds later, started yelling, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. Get my wife's name out your f***ing mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your f***ing mouth. I'm going to, okay? Okay. And that's pretty much it. That was pretty much it. And then uh, Will won... An award for I think like best actor or something uh, for his role in the um, the movie that he did was that was based on uh, the tennis player girls um, so yeah I mean Serena and Venus Williams the Williams sisters so, so everyone's now making a big to do on him hitting Chris Rock uh, should Chris Rock have made that joke Yes, but why? Th that movie, I was 10 when that movie came out. 1997, okay? 
That was forever ago. Okay, so it's it's kind of a dated joke, and only the older audience would get that joke. So would it was it uh, funny to those who got the joke? Sure, but to a lot of people who haven't seen GI Jane, who cares? Like uh, I don't know what he's talking about, but okay, you know what I mean. Now, should he have been making fun of her being bald? I guess, because, like, the thing is, I don't really see... Jokes are subjective, okay? You either like them or you don't. They are either funny or they're not. Now, did this one particularly hit as being funny? Kind of, but... More so, not really, because I get that, like, a lot of people, especially people on YouTube and watching these shows, aren't older and don't necessarily get the joke. So, I get that, but should he not have been able to tell that joke? No, he should have been able to tell that joke, but with the understanding that, you know what, it might not land well. And this is what I've said about a lot of shows and stuff. Should it have been said? Yes. But with every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So you tell your joke, but you have to understand that there's consequences to what you say. This is case in point on, on that whole thing. So, yeah. With that being said, guys, um, that's pretty much all I have to say on this whole matter. Uh, interesting topic, but uh, again... Who cares? Uh, tomorrow we'll forget about it and move on to the next thing. Uh, speaking of, not necessarily tomorrow, but maybe the day after, I have the Archie Bunker Show, uh, All in the Family, next episode coming up. And then Friday, we are changing it up with Avatar The Last Airbender um, as our video for Friday. So with that being said, guys, I want to thank you guys for getting this far in the video. I want to thank all of my subscribers, and we will see you next time. Peace.